divided by 2. Over here, this distance is your what? Is your x bar. Okay. So from here, you will get 0 0.166 divided by 2 minus 75 power minus 3 divided by 2 times by 75 power minus 3 times by 11.8 power minus 3 uh, syntax error on my calculator. That's by 75 power minus 3 times by 11.8 power minus 3 is equal to 40.2675. 40 okay, or 40.268. Times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Okay. So the shear now will be equal to 16 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 40.268 times 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 9.01 times 10 to the power minus 6. And the thickness, because it's white flange, is only once times 10 to the power minus 3. So this will be equal to 16 power 3 times by 40.268 power minus 6 divided by 9.01 power minus 6 divided by 11.8 power minus 3 is equal to 6.06 times 6 Pascal. Okay, I'll do it again. 16 power 3 times 40.268 power minus 6 divided by 9.01 power minus 6 divided by 11.8 power minus 3. 6.06. Okay, more work, yes or no? That's why when I was working with Rolls Royce, I just did a factor of safety of two. <laughs> Something that flies is not a good idea. Now, the next thing that you all have to consider now, okay, I'm, 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 you all have to consider the direction of the shear stress. So we know that the, the forces are acting this way. So this is the combination of the 16. And the shear is going which direction? This direction. So when that's the case, you have to put down the arrow that the shear is going in that direction. Are we clear? Okay. Then the next thing comes to our mind, Eugene. Uh, shear in what direction? Okay. So if we were to go back, you have to look at the big diagram. Okay. I think I, I, I did that earlier, but I'm going to do it again. If you look at the big diagram, right? And we know that this is your X, this is your Y, and this is your Z. We know that the intersecting plane, right? So our element is looking like this. Okay? This is how our element will look like. And we know that the inter this is the intersecting plane to here, so this is y, and the shear force, the shear stress is moving in the x direction. Okay, and we know that this is also equal to shear x y. Okay. Don't expect to be able to visualize this immediately. Once next week I post some homework, you can visualize better. Are we clear? But go to my notes. Right. So this is we we are we are good. Now we are good. So the next thing we're gonna do. Hey, let me shift this thing up so I have more space. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do. We're going to look at the same thing. It's so good that I have space down here. Now we are going to focus on what? Which is equal to 25 times 10 to power 3. So now we are going to sketch our shear flow. That is our Vx. Earlier one, we have our what? Our, our Vx. This is our Vy. I do apologize. Okay. If we are going to focus on element A, can you say something about the direction of the shear flow between those that are generated by Vx and those that are generated by Vy? Can someone say something about it? 
Yeah, they are in opposite direction. So when they are opposite direction, we just minus the magnitude. Are we clear? If, it's, if both are in the same direction, we just add them. Okay? That is why I force you all to design the shear flow in the very first time I introduce it to you what? Shearing stress. Okay, you can see how complicated things can be now. Okay. So now we know that Vy is equal to 25 times 10 to the power 3. Again, we are still focusing on element A. So the formula that we're going to apply, okay, so the shear stress, and now we know the shear is in the what? XY direction, which is equal to shear YX, and this will be equal to Vy over Ixx Qx divided by what? Divided by T. Okay. So Vy is obvious, we know. The next thing is we have to find out what is our Ixx. So Ixx is equal to what? 40.9 times 10 to the power minus 6. And then the thickness is equal to what? Thickness, uh, thickness will be still our what? Our TF. So thickness is our TF. TF is equal to 11.8 times 10 to the power minus 3. And we know that this is what? This is white flange. Uh, white flange, blah, blah. White flange analysis, okay? So from here, we know that this is Qx is equal to A y bar or the width depth y bar. So now the axis of interest is what? X. Because we Qx means what? First moment of area about the y, the x axis. So the y bar now is this distance. So from here, the area of interest is where? This is still, the area of interest is still the what? The same area. Yes or no? Right? It is the, 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 the area of interest is dependent on the design of your what? Your shear flow. Are we clear? Okay. So for this case, X is the axis of interest. Now this is our width. And over here, this is our what? Our depth. Okay. So the width. For this case, is uh, 75 millimeters because the distance from here to here is 75. Okay, the depth now is your what? The depth now is the the depth now is your TF. So the depth now is TF. TF is equal to 11.8 times 10 to the power minus three. Now the y bar, so we know that this is your y direction, so it's d. So d is equal to 0 0.205 divided by 2 minus 11.8 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2. Okay. So from here, your qz is 0 0.205 divided by 2 minus 11.8 power minus 3 divided by 2 times by 11.8 power minus 3 times by 75 power minus 3 is equal to 85.491 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Let me do it again. 0.205 divided by 2 minus 11.8 power minus 3 divided by 2 times by 11.8 power minus 3 times by 75 power minus 3 is equal to 85.491. Once this is sorted out, your shear xy will be equal to 25 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by Qx 85.491 times 10 to the power minus 6 divided by Ixx, which is equal to 40.9 and then divide by the thickness, which is 11.8 times 10 to the power minus 3.
I get 4.428 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Let me do it again. Four point four to eight times ten to minus six. Now, now we have to construct that the shear stress is going in that direction. Okay, so from here, I beg your pardon. Okay, paper side. Oh, I don't think I need another page. I don't have time for another page. Okay, so from here, now we can construct our element. Okay, we can look at element A. So element A, this is our transformation. So this is our element A. So we are aware that element A has a arrow up there and it is what? So our stress X, uh, stress Z, sorry, stress Z we found is 29.658. So 29.658 times 10 to power 6 Pascal. That we are very sure. And then we look at our both our shearing. So one shear, one of the shear, which is 6.06, .06, is going in this direction. So 6.06 .06 is going that direction. And then the one that we found recently is 4.428 coming down. So the shear stress is going to be going this direction and it's equal to 6.06 .06 minus by 4.428. So this will be equal to 6.06 .06 minus 4.428. It's equal to 1.632 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Okay, and this is the other shear. Then from here, there are two more steps that we have to do. By the end of two and a half weeks, you are going to learn 3D mode circle and you are going to do what? You learn your criteria. So we're halfway. Okay, this is halfway. Okay, so what, what we, have, we have known now, we know that, so what, what does this element actually mean? Okay, what does this element actually mean? So this element, it is a what? A 3D element. So you have stress in the X, stress in the Y, and stress in the what? Z. You have shear XY, which is equal to shear YX. You have shear YZ, which is equal to shear ZX. And you have shear XZ, which is equal to... Oh, uh, Eugene, come on. Sometimes when you speak, the fingers refuse to follow. Right? So if you look at all this value, we know that stress in the x direction is equal to what? Equal to zero. Stress in the y direction is equal to zero. This will be positive 29.658 times 10 to the power 6. Okay, times 10 to the power 6. Let me shift this across. Pascal. And then if you look at the other coordinate, I mean the other shear stress, right? So the shear stress over here, this is what? Shear in what? Oh, sorry. Maybe I got the shear wrongly. I do apologize. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, it's correct because it's 3D. It looks different. So Y, X. So your shear Y, X is equal to 1.632 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. And this is zero, and this is equal to what? Zero. From here, we can construct already, we can construct what? 3D mole circle. 
Okay. Now, 3D mold circle is not a sphere. Okay. 3D mold circle is just like 2D mold circle, but you have three circles. Are we clear? Okay. Go home. Thank you for today.